feeling in him. So, you know, we discussed like expectations. And I told him my expectations when it comes to a man. I was like, I, my man has to protect and provide. Like every man I've been with took care of me. Every single man I've been with. Stop the cap. <laughs> Or whatever and he was like you know baby that's fine because that's the type of man i am anyway so i'm like all right cool so he proposed to me in 2022 he proposed to me in 2022 we dated for eight months before he proposed to me or whatever yeah i said yes anyways and mind y'all when i was single i took care of everything by myself i even bought my own house i took care of my kids it wasn't on no government assistance like i held it down so if i can't do that then i feel like my man should be able to do that my money is my money and his money is our money fellas i want you to repeat that with me before you get married or before you even think about dating one of these modern women i want you to get a pen and a piece of paper and write that on your mirror my money is our money and her money is her money this is why modern women are not getting married. They're not getting married because they're not looking for a partner. They're looking for someone to provide for them. They're looking for a sponsor. They're not looking for a husband. They're looking for help. <laughs> What's going on everybody and welcome back to another video. Don't forget, hit that like button on your way in, tickle that notification bell. That will let you know every time I upload content, you know what we're gonna do. Yep. Roll that clip. So he came home and he was like, you know, babe, I lost my job. I'm like, all right, cool. So a month later, like the bills, it was time for the bills or whatever. You know, and I'm like, you know, the bills do, babe, or whatever. And he was like, okay, you know, I'm not working. And and I'm just, in a month, like, it's all kind of hustles. You could have been doing something or whatever. So I told him, I said, look, if I pay these bills, are you going to pay me the money back? You're a victim. Mm. Here we go, CSI. This man had the nerve to tell me, why should I pay my wife back for, for paying our bills? He ain't lying. I told this man from day one, my money is my money, and his money is our money. Huh? 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 I told this man from day one, my money is my money, and his money is our money. How about new? Why should I spend my money paying the bills? Like, no, he should have paid me back. So that's when I decided, like, I can't be with this man no more. So I had sex with his homeboy. Like, we all cool. I sex his homeboy or whatever. You know, we went together. We, we got, we left. We, I met up with him. And we was, you know, we was chill, We was chilling. We were drinking or whatever. And I started venting. I started venting. You know, like, I started getting emotional. One thing led to the next. I did not purposely mean to do what I did with his friend. But things happen. Things happen. Like, y'all understand what I'm going through. So, you know, his friend ended up giving me some money or whatever. And he was like, you know, babe, look, don't worry about it. Do Handle whatever you got to handle. Like, his friend was every single thing I desire in a man. Like, everything I desire in a man. And, you know, ain't nobody trying to hear my side. Ain't nobody trying to hear me out and what I went through. Like, it's, that's not okay. That's not cool. You made a promise to me and you broke that promise. How am I wrong if I told him who I was and he didn't stick to, he didn't stick to what he agreed to? When you get married to a man, a lot of you don't want to get married because the wedding vows sign in sickness and in health through richer or poorer. He ain't lying. And we've gone over this multiple times on this channel. A lot of you women, when the chips are down, you want to run and hide. Why are you running? Why are you running? 
You don't want to be with a man when he's going through it. You don't want to be with a man when he's living life below. You don't want to build with a man. You want a man that is not only already built, but as soon as the chips are down, as soon as as he loses his job or he loses his primary source of income, you're out the door. <laughs> That's not love. That's not love, ladies. That's wanting a man for what he has. Yep. And a lot of you modern women are just for a man based on what he has. Yep. Let me ask you this, ladies. If your man was to lose everything tomorrow, would you leave or would you stay? If he woke up, he lost his job. If he's an entrepreneur, his business failed, he lost everything overnight. You would no snap. And your man has nothing. And you had to hold your man down for like six months. Would you be able to do that? Or would you get tired and leave? This is what men look for in a woman. Anybody can be there when the chips are in our favor. But when our back is against the wall. And when we need a ride or die, y'all leave. Now, before the naysayers come in and say, well, women are always taught to be for the struggle. No. Y'all struggle with hood guns. Hey, guys. Come help me pump it. What you doing? I asked you to, I asked you to come help you, me pump my gas. Why are you recording? I asked you. It don't matter if I'm recording. It don't matter. Come and help me pump this gas. Why are you being so petty? Man, see, this is what I'm talking about. Sorry. <laughs> I ain't about to pump this gas. Come For and help me right now. No, get out my car. I'm not, I ain't leaving nowhere. Is you finished pumping the gas or not? No, I'm not. And I'm not going to pump the gas until you uh, get out the car and assist me. Okay, so you just want me to drive you around. You ain't got no car. You ain't got no job. Hey, I'm talking to you. No, you not. Hold on. Damn me. I'm not being petty. Bro, I'm not, I'm not Get out. To argue with you. No, that's why. No. Come on, man. Get out of the car you was embarrassing and help. Yourself. No, you was embarrassing yourself. Finish See, this is the type of men that are around. Y'all struggle with incels, lames, losers, MGTOWNs. Hood tyrants. Y'all struggle with them. Y'all don't struggle with decent men. Y'all don't struggle with decent men because decent men, we may go through a period of struggle, but we don't stay there. And then eventually we're just on time. See, y'all compare what y'all go through with Pookies and Ray Rays, who y'all love so much, on Pyru. See, y'all want to date Pyrus, but y'all don't want to date prosperous men. Y'all want to date losers and lames and gangbangers, but then y'all don't want to date the men who have stocks, trade, ETF, Bitcoin. Y'all don't want to date men that are well-established in a career. You are his wife. There is no reason whatsoever why you should even have a relationship with his homeboy to where he's giving you money. I suspect that there is more to the story. Maybe, just maybe, she had the homeboy on the side of her marriage. Maybe. I'm not saying that's true or not. I just said maybe. But the fact that this woman is comfortable enough to go outside of her marriage to get money leads me to believe that there is something that she is not saying.
Then on top of that, she wants to say, well, what about me? What about me? See, women, y'all don't know how to get, y'all know how to get married, but not stay married. Because a lot of you, your mothers were never married. You're repeating the same cycle. You're repeating the cycle that your mother repeated. Your mother did this so you think it's okay for you to do it. Your mother went through, man. Now it's okay for you to do it. But it's not. You need to learn how to have healthy relationships. Pick better partners. Anyway, y'all, that's been it for today's video. Don't forget, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, tickle that notification bell. That will let you know every time I upload content. And you're going to see me after this right at the end screen. Click the video on that screen, and that's where, where you'll find me. And until the next video, peace.